Brian Dershaw. Brian, what's up, man? Dr. Vo, how are you? Good to be with you. Man, I uh, am doing good. And like I said, I'm doing even better now that uh, we've got to talk and you told me about this amazing service. But, you know, before we jump in now, I, I titled this Facebook live stream as Repair Your Own Handpiece, right? So people already signed up for it. They're probably wondering, okay, is he going to do like an instructional video to show me how to, you know, put this handpiece together? Am I going to have to buy all this stuff? No, you're here, man, because you're about to tell everyone that you got the easy way. I call it the lazy way, but it's really the easy way. You got the easy button on repairing hand pieces. So I can't wait to have you talk about that. But before we go any further, guys, if you are listening in right now, say hello, type in the comment section um, so that we know that you're here. Uh, type in the comment section, Brian, because if you, he's about to lay some uh, really good info right now. So Brian, uh, before we go any further, Talk about your background, man. How'd you get into this dental space, man? And and how did you get into creating a company like Turby? Great question, Dr. Vo. So I've been in dental for uh, coming up on about 11 years now. Wow. And my experience in the dental industry is exclusively on dental equipment repair and handpiece repair. Um, so I've been around and understand um, all of the equipment in a dental office along with both the electric and high-speed hand pieces, cavitrons, all the small equipment that you would find in an office and all the capital equipment. And one of the things I learned in, in 10 years is um, how easy it is for a dentist or somebody on their team to repair their high-speed hand piece in less than five minutes. Um, and so, you know, we all know how the industry works now. You either package up your handpiece um, and send it off to one of the giant dealers and wait for an estimate, and eventually it gets repaired and then it comes back. Um, and a lot of times, dentists wait until many of their handpieces are broken, and then it's a scramble, right? You know, oh my God, I got patients in the chair, and we've got some auto, we've we've got some handpieces in the autoclave, and we don't have enough in our rotation, so it's a scramble. So there was a number of things that kind of came together here when I looked at the industry and when I looked at specifically dental high-speed handpiece repair. And I created a new vertical within the industry where I am going to inform dentists or their teams. It could be the hygienist. It could be the yeah. assistant. It could be the receptionist. It could be the office manager, anybody in the office. And we're talking about obviously dental offices and folks within an office that are very good with their hands. Um, like you, Dr. Vo, you work with your hands all day. Hygienists work with their hands all day. So you guys are a natural fit for a concept where you're going to use your hands and in just a couple minutes, repair a high-speed handpiece. And nobody's ever told you, Dr. Vo, how easy this is because there's obviously an entire industry that's oh, yeah. predicated on making money off of dentists uh, and their handpiece repairs. So I took a handpiece repair and said, Hey, you know, look, if you watch a four to five minute video and I have a video for every handpiece that's on the market, um, every brand, every make, every model that's on, that's on, that's in the industry. And there's a, you know, a four to a four to five minute video for every handpiece. And what this is all about, Dr. Vo, is simply ordering a turbine using a wrench and most dentists or their staff don't have the wrench or have never seen the wrench to unscrew the back cap, you unscrew the back cap, you pop out the turbine and you pop in a new turbine and tighten the thing back up. It's literally that easy to do the repair. And I mean, just like that, man. Just like that. And so <laughs> you're paying, you're, you're either paying, uh, you know, one of the big dealers, uh, a, a huge premium that you don't need to be paying and you're waiting for it to come back, which is inconveniencing you. It's, it's creating more downtime or you're calling somebody to do the repair and you're probably paying them twice what it would pay, what it would cost you to do it yourself. And so, you know, in my experience within the industry uh, and being around equipment and being around dentists, you know, what I took was that, Hey, we need a better solution. Dentists need a better solution on fixing their high speed hand pieces. And, and not only is it a better solution in terms of cost, Dr. Vo, but it's a superior solution in terms of eliminating downtime because you could inventory turbines in your office. And as soon as your handpiece breaks, you or somebody in your office can fix it that day within minutes and you're back up and running. 
So if you're a Turby customer, you really ought not to be in a situation where you have any hand pieces that are ever broken. So there's a lot of there's a lot of um, solutions within using Turby and repairing your own handpiece. I love that. Guys, if you like what you're hearing right now, if you're interested in a nifty deal, type in the comment section, Turby. Type in the comment section, Turby, and we'll talk about a nifty deal. We'll get Brian motivated to give us a deal in the group here. Now, Brian, we got some questions already, man. You want to field some questions real quick? Sure. Right. Um, I, Let me put it you, up here. Yeah, yes, go ahead. We got this one here. I mean, they're, they're going straight to it, man. He's he's asking, is this kit limited to certain brands? Yeah, good question. And so uh, I want to be specific here. Uh, this is for high speed handpiece repair only. If you have a if you have a one to five or an electric handpiece, a little bit more technical. I, I don't consider that a repair that you should be doing yourself. This is only high speed repairs. And we have every brand, every make, every model. So whether you're using Star, Cavo, Midwest, Serona, um, any of the big brands and any of their makes and models. And we all know that, you know, the game is to come out with a new, a new model every year if you're Cavo. And it goes back 15, 20 years and they change the model a little bit every year. And the turbine actually changes every year too. So we have every turbine for every high speed handpiece. And you just simply go to the site and do a quick search and it will turn up your handpiece. And when you order the turbine, you get a back cap wrench that will fit the handpiece for the turbine that you're ordering, if that makes sense. So there's a bunch of different wrenches for a bunch of different hand pieces. We know based on the turbine that you order what wrench you need. So you get you get the wrench and then you get the turbine and you go to work in about four minutes when you when you actually receive it in your office. No, no, Brian, we got another question, a follow-up question here is, oh, hold on. Well, well the electric hand pieces, no, it's just air turbine, uh, air driven hand pieces, right? Correct. Like electric. If, if you're using a one to five or you're using an electric hand piece, unfortunately, uh, you still need to use whoever you're using currently to handle repairs on those. It, there's a lot more moving pieces and they're a lot more technical. So unfortunately, there's not a solution today to fix one to fives or electric hand pieces uh, in your office and do it yourself. Okay. Now uh, we have another question here. Uh, what about the Jay Marita hand pieces? Sure. Yeah, we cover that as well. Um, you can email Turby for any handpiece that you might have that you don't see on the site. I just don't see a lot of Jay Marita. It's an uncommon handpiece. But yes, I have the turbine for all Jay Marita as well. And that covers Benco Sterling, which is made, it's basically a private label Jay Marita. So we have turbines for those as well. I love it. And, and guys, you know, I have on the screen, if you're watching the live stream here, there's the Turby box and all this little kit that comes with it. So basically, whenever you need something repaired, they will send this kit with everything that you need. Now, I want to make sure I want to make sure I heard something right. And I want to bring it up again, because I'm sure do other doctors are listening. They're like, did I just hear that? So you're saying, because here's the thing. Uh, we want to be in the chair. That's where we make our money, right? We don't have time to be fiddling around and doing this stuff. So are you saying that this is easy enough that my team member can do it for us? Correct. And, you know, that was one of the things that we really focused on as we were developing the company. And that is, you know, we went to many dental offices and we had hygienists do the repairs. We had assistants do the repairs. Wow. We had we had receptionists do the repairs. And and Doctor, you, you know that there's tens of thousands of dentists out there that like to tinker, and oh, yeah. they'll do they'll do the repair. You know, <laughs> there's a, there's also there's also the subset like you that are running around and you're seeing patients generating a bunch of revenue. And the last thing you want is another thing to do. So don't do it. Have somebody else in your office do it. I love that. I love that. And I think that's the, that's the biggest thing that people are always worried about, right? They're like, okay, I don't have time to do it. But the thing is, I've always said, you have team members, let them do it. Like, why are you going and taking inventory? Your team should be doing that. And this is just another thing that, you know, especially right now, guys, uh, things are kind of slow because, you know, everyone's, the government has put us on a forced vacation, if you have some hand pieces that are broken right now, this is the time to do it. Now, let's let's take a step 
even further okay they we know that we're going to get this kit here but then they're like okay well where's the instructions at are you going to send a little booklet or what how does that work so explain how yeah. the the instruction process works yeah excellent question so for every make and model of handpiece we have a video and within the video it's it's a it's a high definition video of going through the repair from beginning to end so basically you're sitting there with either your phone, your tablet or your computer, and you have the handpiece and the turbine in front of you and you're watching this video and you can play it or pause it, you know, according to how quickly you're moving and you're watching this video and it's guiding you step by step on exactly what to do. Um, so if you can follow a four minute instructional video, which I know that you all can, um, with, with some really good music. So you're jamming out while you're doing the repair. Um, if you can follow that, then you can you can do the repair. I mean, I guess if you're if you're used to like learning things on YouTube, if you could do that, you can definitely do this, right? Yeah, I mean, listen, the environment has changed so much within the last 10, 15, 20 years where YouTube and video tutorial has enabled people to do so much more in terms of guiding them to repair um, you know, anything from a handpiece to a power washer. I mean, things that you could never imagine that you could do before all these videos were posted, you can now do. So let's take advantage of that technology and let's get those videos in the hands of the end user so that they can take care of their own handpiece. I love that. I love that. Like I said, this is perfect for the nifty thrifty group because we're looking at ways to save money to be efficient. Now, now for those who, uh, you know, Brian, for those who just jumped on, there's a bunch of people that are just jumping on right now and they probably missed the, missed the intro. Um, you, what your experience is, let's talk about your experience because you're not just some guy who just thought, Hey, I'm just going to start sending these kits out to repair turbines for hand pieces. Talk about your experience in the repair industry, because I think that's something that's very important. You're not just some dude that just walked off the street and just said, hey, look, I'm going to start selling turbines. Talk about that experience, because you, you didn't just deal with hand pieces. You dealt with other equipment as well. Sure. In 2000, it was, it was the end of 2009, Dr. Vell, end of 2009, early 2010. Um, we put together a nationwide dental equipment repair franchise and there are vans all over the country that go into dental offices and fix um, not only hand pieces, but all of the capital equipment within an office, whether it's a delivery unit, a light, a chair, compressor, vacuum pump, you name it. Um, this company fixes it. Uh, they fixed it then and they fix it now. And so I was on this team that, that launched this business about 10 years ago and I ran the business for about the last nine and a half years. Yeah. And it's an it's it's nationwide, it's in Canada as well. And we focused on training uh, on capital equipment repair and handpiece repair. And again, one of the things that really stuck out is the handpiece repair and just the economics of how that industry works. And we yeah. haven't really talked much about the economics and we should because this is the nifty thrifty group and, <laughs> and, and folks that are on are, are on because um, they're looking for innovation, but they're looking to save money as well. And so the economics of, of Turby and how this works is it's going to cost you about half of what it would normally cost you for a repair. And there's also a really important uh, part of that as well. And that is the quality of the oh, turbine. Man. I was going to bring that, that up. I was going to bring okay, that up so, because, because that's like a, you know, why don't you just go ahead and disclose it, right? There's this, this, this dirty little secret, right? With when you send your handpiece to get repaired and the turbine they're using is not exactly what you should be getting. So talk about that, man, because there's, there's, you know, just like with anything, there's different uh, uh, quality levels when it comes to these parts. Sure. And this is another kind of topic that that not doesn't get a lot of airplay and, and a lot of offices, a lot of dentists really don't know much about. Uh, but the quality of the turbine uh, is critical in how the handpiece is going to perform. So you're going to you're going to spend, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars, let's say, to buy a premium cavo high speed handpiece. You want to put a quality turbine in that high speed handpiece. You know, it's almost like, you know, Dr. Vo, when you drive your Porsche, you know, it calls for a certain kind of gasoline, mm -hmm. right? You're not put, you're putting in the high octane gasoline. It, you know, the low octane is also gasoline, 
but it doesn't cost the same and it doesn't perform the same. My turbines are engineered uh, to be better and last longer. My warranty is a year, most last far beyond a year. Yeah. Now, what you see a lot of in the market now is you'll see low cost repairs. You'll see somebody say, hey, you know, I'll repair your handpiece for $99. The way that they're able to do that is by using um, knockoff, inexpensive parts in the turbine. And there's some risk to that. I mean, the first risk is, you know, it's probably not going to last as long. The second risk is it's not going to perform as well. Your handpiece is going to cut as well. It's not going to perform as well. The third risk is a product liability risk, which is, you know, if you can't trace where these parts come from, you know, you could have a potential issue if the handpiece, um, if the handpiece breaks and let's say a patient aspirates a burr because the turbine doesn't hold the burr. So I, I don't want to create fear here, but all turbines and all handpiece parts are not created equal. And you got to make sure as a dentist that you're using a company that you can trust and that the turbine is from a reputable um, accredited source. Yeah. And so yeah. that's an important piece of it. So, you know, it's not always what it seems, you know, somebody's going to send you a note and say, hey, Dr. Vo, you know, I'll fix your cable handpiece for $99. And you're going to say, oh, well, that's great. You know, I'm paying $200 now. I'd rather pay $99, but it's not the equivalent turbine. And that's right. why they're able to do it. And there's, and there's risk. And I don't want to fear monger. That's the last thing I want to do, but there's risk in using a substandard subpar turbine and 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 part of my concept was not only giving doctors the ability or their staff the ability to do the repair but also giving them the best turbine in the market uh, well, with a with 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 a one year warranty and a, a turbine that is going to perform in your cavo and your nsk and your midwest handpiece you, you buy a good handpiece dr well you want it to run correctly Right. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I, I absolutely agree. And look, I mean, we have a question here and this this doctor very motivated to get this question answered. She asked it twice. So let's go ahead. And I'm going to put that on for you. OK, <laughs> so basically uh, she wants to know, OK, are these turbines new or are, are you using refurbished? That's a really good question, too. So that's probably that's coming from a doctor who has a little bit of experience in in this arena. And so um when 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 you mention refurbished, that probably um, leads me to believe that you may be getting uh, turbines that are being rebuilt. So basically, when a turbine is rebuilt, they, the spindle and the impeller stay and they replace the bearings. OK, that's not how Turby operates. It's a it's a new turbine every time. And I believe and we believe that that's the best way to fix a handpiece because you can't balance a turbine when you build it. So they're all, they're all new. There's no refurbished parts. I don't believe in that. I don't think that's safe. Yeah. And so every turbine is, is uh, all new parts and it fits right into your handpiece. I love that. I love that. Guys, if you like what you're hearing, type in the comment section, Turby. If you want a nifty deal, type in the comments section, Turby as well. I think we had somebody who has already jumped the gun. That he got so excited. And, and dude, all right, it's cool, man. Go to the Turby site right now if you want. But man, just stick around for the nifty deal. But, but he went on there. Let's just answer his question because he's been really patient about it. He's like, hey, I went to the Turby site. And I was trying to find my NSK brands, and I can't, I can't scroll down to see the model list. Um, it was funny. I'm putting this on because when I first went to the site, I had the same problem too, uh, uh, Brian. And 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 all you said was, "Dude, you, you just gotta kind of click around, man." I'm like, "Oh, okay." So um, so later on, guys, you know, if uh, I don't know, do, do you know? Can you quickly? help him here because i know last over the phone you're like glenn you just need to start about you just need to click this thing over here i'm yeah, sure it's so, the same thing that he's going yeah. through on the on the turbine uh where it says turbine drop that down click on nsk and then look on the left side and all the nsk models will be listed there and if you ever have any problems quick chat us on on the site yeah. call our 800 number uh fire us an email any way you want to reach us we're there for you I, I literally, when we were talking about bringing you on the Facebook Live, I, I actually, guys, I actually asked. I was like, hey, can you help me with the website right there? And, and it's pretty easy to navigate once you kind of figure things out. And here's the thing. I mean, if you are using 
like all similar hand pieces. Like I like to use vector. I have a bunch of vector ones. Once you figure out where everything is, do you got it? Right, you got it. And, and you know, if you want to be extra lazy and you've already ordered a kit. You can always send them an email and say, hey, can I just get the same kit that I ordered last time? <laughs> you know, you can do that yep. too. Yeah. All right. So, um, okay. So we have, uh, here we go. We have another question here about the website. It's like, can I search with a model number? Yeah. If, just put that in the search bar at the top of the website. Uh, you know, so let's say you're using a star 430. Just type in star 430. Uh, not the serial number. It won't read the serial number. So when you're looking at the site, when you're looking at the shaft of your handpiece, you're gonna have the make, the model, and then the serial number. The serial number is specific to your handpiece only. The make and the model is what you wanna search. So like, let's say it's a star 430. So you would search star 430 or Cavo 647. Just, just pop in Cavo 647 in the search bar and, uh, and, and, and hit, uh, hit go and it will bring up the, the turbine. I love it, I love it. Okay, so we have, um question here this is more of a technical question i guess they want to test you out here man so let me put this on uh, okay so when the burr comes out while running the high speed does that mean the turbine needs to be replaced almost always it does i would i would replace the turbine if it's not holding the burr yeah yeah i mean and also just think about what could happen also while you're using yes. that and as i hold the burr awesome and then Okay, so I'm not sure what this means. Maybe you do, Brian. Are these yeah. OEM turbines? I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, no, you see, it's the same so. doctor. Man, she so, is on, she is on fire today, man. Asking you about this turbine stuff, but that's good. That's good knows, because it's like she's she's really did her due diligence there. And uh, so, yeah, uh, are these OEM turbines? We want informed dentists that are asking questions. So they are aftermarket turbines. OEM means original equipment manufacturer. And so that means that it would come from Serona or from Midwest. They are not OEMs, they're aftermarket. They're all, they're all manufactured in Germany to the same specifications are better than OEM. The issue with OEM, and I shouldn't say the issue, is that they're very expensive and they're not gonna last really any longer than the Turby turbines. And, uh, and here's the thing, they're brand new, they're not refurbished, right? And they come with warranty, which is how long is the warranty again? What, everything's one year. Everything is one year. Cause you know, that's one of the most annoying things, Brian, is I'll get something repaired. And like after a couple of months, I got to send it again and yeah. again. And then after six months, they don't honor it anymore. And I just get ticked off, you know what I'm saying? I end up buying a new one there. So I love that it is a year long. Okay, so we had this- And let me let me cut you off here. So, you know, something about the warranty that's interesting. And I, and I think that doctors should be thinking about it this way. If, you know, if you, if you get your handpiece repaired and it's a one-year warranty, or if you buy a turbine from Turbine and you get a one-year warranty, it's the same one year, right? I think the question that you really want to be asking yourself to understand the quality of the turbine is how long past that year does the handpiece operate? In other words, if you buy a Turbine turbine and, and it lasts two years, mm -hmm. or if you get it repaired and it lasts 13 months, they're both a one-year warranty. But the Turby turbine, the way it's manufactured is going to last far beyond a year. And so I think you're going to get a lot more out of your money just in the longevity of that repair. And so it's not only the warranty period, but it's also how long that turbine is going to last beyond the warranty period. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense there. And before I put this next question on, um, I forgot to go over something with you. And like I said, Brian has been in the repair industry for gosh, over 10 years, right? Over 10 years. And he's he's found this new vertical here that can help us all out. And that's repairing hand pieces, okay? So let's kind of go through everything. Let's start with, we didn't bring this up, but what is the normal, when you were when you were with the other company and you guys were doing hand piece repairs and, and obviously you knew all your competitors in this space, what is the average cost when you send a hand piece in to get repaired? What is normally the average cost for that? Not yeah, terribly, yeah. just industry, like an industry normal cost when you send it to like a like a Hayes or or any sure. other companies. What's the normal? Sure. Cost? I, I would say your range is probably about one ninety to maybe two fifty on on the the higher side. Uh, so one ninety to two fifty. A turbine with turbine is one nineteen. Okay, 
oh, so there you go. You answered that question. So they, they, the question was, is how much does the cost for each kit? And it is how much now? It's 119 and what you get in the kit is the turbine, of course, and then you get a back cap wrench along with free shipping. So every time you order a turbine, you get a wrench. So a but wrench and a turbine for 119. 119, but guys, you know what? He's in the nifty thrifty group. But before I go there, before I go there, type in the comments section, Turby, if you want a nifty deal. Because right now, actually, what you said, that price is pretty, pretty thrifty already. But look, we're gonna get a nifty deal. Type in the comments section, um, Turby, if you want the nifty deal. Okay, so I'm gonna put something up here that you probably get a lot and you're probably gonna have a good laugh about it because I had a pretty good laugh when I was looking at it. Um, this doctor is like, okay, look, I got these, these like this, these ghetto, these ghetto hand pieces. <laughs> you bang, bang, right? I mean, come on, man. These ghetto hand pieces from, from eBay. Look, I, I'll, I'll admit, I, I had a few of those. I use it to like adjust like lab stuff in the back. I don't really use it with patients. I just do it in, and when it breaks, I just chunk it in the trash. But but they're wondering, okay, look, I got these hand pieces from eBay. I mean, can, can I use a Turby kit with that? What do you say to that? So interesting question. The first, the first, the, the, the easy answer is no, I don't, I don't sell replacement for those and be careful to everybody out there. Be careful what you're buying off of eBay. I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not familiar specifically with the bang bang, although I love the name, whoever came up with it's a great name, but you know, remember you're using a medical device. It needs to be FDA approved. I don't know if your bang bang is or isn't, but just be careful in in what you're buying because you can buy anything on the internet these days and just make sure that what you're using is certified by the fda you know of course we're using this on patients in their mouth um and just make sure that you know it's it's uh, above board here so i don't sell turbines for that specific hand piece a lot of these hand pieces that people are buying off of ebay i mean they're almost disposable there are, you know, maybe you autoclave them a couple of times, but you basically, when they stopped, when they stop working, you just, you just throw them in the trash. I don't recommend using those hand pieces, but if you do just make sure that they're certified by the FDA. Yeah. You know, and, um, uh, to that doctor, I, was, I know I'm just giving you a hard time, you know, but, uh, you know, I actually have it in my, in my office, but I don't use it with patients. I use it in the back to like adjust stuff on my lab, you know, maybe adjust some crowns or maybe adjust something else or cut something else. It's in the back in the lab. Um, the last thing you want is using this. And, um, I think someone had reported that, uh, like it fell apart when they were working on a patient and it, it just took that took that one time of me hearing that story to say like i'm never going to do that so with that being said if you have a uh like a name brand like a legit hand piece that's the reason why i brought brian on because the biggest issue is is that man when they break down then you got to pay to get repaired and then when i got connected with brian brian's like look dude i got this great solution and so let's see if we have some more questions here let me put this up here brian next one here where it is. Okay. So to replace the turbine, their turby kit is all I need. No other tools are needed, right? Good, good question. You may need an explorer. Everything else that you would need is in your office, alcohol and explorer. And when you go on the turby site, um, on the top area, there's a get started tab. Click on that and it will tell you what else you need. You, you don't need to buy anything else, but you know, depending on the on the turbine that you're using, you might need to stick an O-ring in there, and it's easier to use an Explorer than to use your finger. So, an Explorer, alcohol to clean it up, and maybe a couple cotton swabs just to swab out the uh, the head of the handpiece after after you remove the turbine. You remove all that gunk and debris that's in the head. So pretty much all the stuff that you need, uh, number one, uh, Turby is going to send it, but then the other stuff, maybe like cotton swabs or an explorer. I mean, you should already have that in the dental, but they don't have to go and hunt for anything else. No, okay. no, nope. cotton swabs, alcohol, and an explorer. And the explorer is just to grip the O-ring and pull it out of the head. Some turbines, you won't need one, others you will, but everybody's got an explorer in their office anyways. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to tell you what, this doctor that is asking all the specifics, 
Doc, he's he's answering all your questions. I mean, you you need to once we're done, you need to order a turby set right turby set right away because she's answering all these questions for you. Okay, so she has another question here, so we'll put this on. Okay, so okay, when we order the initial kit in the future, does that mean I just need just the turbines from there on out? Because I've already got the tools. Yeah, if you don't want the tool, I won't send you the tool. You know, it, anyway. you know I, 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 right? it comes anyway. I mean, it, I, I guess it's better for the environment and the landfill. You probably don't need 20 tools laying around. Um, and I, I have done that with a lot of my repeat customers. They say, you know, just send the turbine. I don't need another tool. I already have five of them. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's no problem. You don't pay for it anyways. Yeah, well, 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 there you go. I mean, if you want to be, uh, you know, very mindful of the environment, that's great. Don't take another one. Uh, or maybe, you know what, just just have a little collection there, you know, but hopefully, hopefully, you know, you, things are getting fixed, you know, and, and they're lasting a long time and you won't need as many. Okay. So, um, man, great questions there. Great questions there. Okay. So we have another question here and this might be, um, might be, you know, for, for when they actually watch the video, but okay. So how do you replace that O-ring? Is it easy to take out? It's a, it's kind of the, a pain in the butt to put in a new one. So it's, it's, it's another, you know, it's another question about how easy it is. And, and, and this person is talking about his cables, but he's worried that sure. it's a pain in the butt. And Brian, what do you say to that? I mean, you got the video, you got the kit. I mean, cabo yeah, so, opposed to everything else. Yeah. So cabo covers a, a wide variety of different hand pieces and their turbines are different. So, they, you know, some have two O-rings, some have one O-ring. Uh, the O-rings are pretty easy to pull out with an Explorer. And you, you just stick it right on the handpiece and pop it in. But but Dr. Vo, you're exactly right. You just watch the video for your specific handpiece. And the video, you know, we've got an HD camera focused in on the handpiece. So it's real easy to see what's going on in there. But cable is too general. The turbines are all a little bit different, but it's not a difficult thing for 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 a dentist to do or anybody else in the office. So apparently this guy tried and he said it's a pain in the butt, but hopefully with the Turby kit, with all the tools that you're sending and the video, he won't know, he won't see it as a pain in the butt anymore. And look, we already talked about this in the beginning. I asked Brian, I mean, can a team member do this? Because remember, we're, we're busy, man. We're busy doing some stuff. And Brian said, look, man, I've, I've let other people do it. I have clients where they're, I think you said that you had the hygienist do it. Um, and, and the assistants do it. So, I mean, if it, it's it's meant for everybody, what about what about like like someone's like a high school kid? Could a high school kid do it? Like one of their kids do it? Okay, so I that's that's funny you ask. So I have a video that I have sent out um, in some email postings and whatnot of my seven year old daughter <laughs> repairing a and I and I and I I actually should put it on the website, but I haven't put it on there. So I took a video, I taught her how to do it. And then I took a video on my, on my phone of my seven year old daughter swapping a turbine in a star 430. And so it's, a, it's, it's, it's an awesome video. It's really funny, but I should post it on the website. I've sent it in some emails. So the, I think the headline is even a seven year old could do it. Um, <laughs> And, you know, I mean, get, get, getting back to the economics for a second, Dr. Vo, because you said, you know, you're, you're busy and you don't want another thing to do. But if you could save $100 in five minutes, oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I you know, you got to kind of understand, like, you know, what's my time worth? And I get it. Like, you, you don't want to sit there for 45 minutes and fidget with this thing. But if you could if you could fix this yourself in five minutes and save $100, probably worth it, right? Oh yeah, hundred percent. You know, it's even better if you can get your assistant to do it for you too. But I love that. I love the fact that uh, you you have control, right? You have control over fixing your handpiece right then and there. You get the kit, you can fix it right there, and you can use it right away. And uh, it's using really good parts, not refurbished, uh, great price. And look, we have this question here, and we'll get there. But uh, someone just asked, like, okay, well, all right, I'm sold. How do I get me a Turby kit? Good. Yeah. Go to turby.com, click on your handpiece, add it to the cart and buy it like you buy anything else online. That's it. Uh, fill in your information, throw in your credit card. And next time you want to order the same turbine, just log in with your account and it will know what you ordered before. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And especially if you have the same hand pieces, you know, that's all you got to do. Now, let's say someone comes on, they got a million questions. You said there's a chat option on the website as well that they can ask questions, right? 
Sure, I, I get you. I, that, those quick chats now, Dr. Bell, I mean, we get chatted, our staff gets chatted all the time on that quick chat. So, you know, on the bottom right, I think it's the bottom right-hand side of the page, you know, click on the little quick chat and we'll go back and forth and answer any questions that you might have. Okay, so we have another, uh, hold on, let me, make, let me see if it's the same doctor. Oh yeah, okay. We, she's got another question for you, man. Let's do this. Okay. Fire away. Okay, so why would you need to change the O-ring when the new turbine come with all the parts together? It does. You would not just change an O-ring. Okay. So you're gonna change, you're gonna change the entire turbine, which is inclusive of the O-rings and the washers. So you know, for example, you have a cable handpiece. You need a new turbine. Everything comes out of it. The the the, the washer, the O-ring, the turbine, and then all new parts get put in. So you would never take out the turbine, replace the washer, and then put the old turbine back in. That's yeah. not something they do. And, and come on, guys. I mean, I, I wouldn't bring Brian on here if he was nickeling and diming you a freaking O-ring. I mean, come oh. on. Come on. <laughs> but hey, good question, dog. Good question. Like I said, um, I, I'm going to check it with Brian and see if he actually ordered a, a, a kit because he's, he's on fire today. He's answering all your questions. Okay, so we already know how to order it. People already talked about pricing. All right, so let's, 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 I know all you guys, see, and I see a whole bunch of people logging on now because you guys know what time it is. You want to know what? All right, all right. Well, let's put this on here. Okay, if I buy more than one kit, is there a discount? If you're a nifty, thrifty dentist, there is. There you go. There you go. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do this right now. Hold on. Let me put this into the crawler here. All right. All right we got a bunch of people waiting. They, you're in the nifty thrifty group. I told you, I warned you that when you, once you enter the nifty thrifty zone, um, you know, we're just going to be a lot of people looking for a deal and stuff like that. So first of all, the normal price, which is already a sweet deal is, is what, how much is the kit normally? 119. 119, right? He already, the man already said it himself that when you send it out to get repaired, you're looking at a couple of hundred bucks already to possibly $300, depending on who you send it to. Okay. So we already know that. Okay. And he, the man already said that even his seven year old kid can fix the handpiece. So anyone can do it. He also said that there's a video there that you can follow and each kit has everything you need. All you got to supply is maybe some alcohol, not drinking alcohol, the alcohol, rubbing alcohol, uh, you know, a, a cotton swab and an explorer stuff that you already have. You already said all those things. Okay. So it's already nifty price, but Brian, you're in the nifty thrifty dentist. And what can you do for our group so that we can start saving money, fixing our hand pieces with the Turby kit? Yeah, we love the nifty thrifty dentist. I mean, how perfect is Turby, the concept, and nifty yeah. thrifty dentist? I mean, match made in heaven. So <laughs> for 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 Dr. Vo's group of nifty thrifty dentists, we're going to do, uh, you're going to get 15 off of your first order. And then if you're in, if you're coming through nifty thrifty, you're going to get 10% off of every additional order of two or more hand pieces. So we do two or more turbines. So we just got that question. Um, if I buy more than one turbine, is there a discount? Yes, there is. You're going to get 10% off. Oh man, that is sweet. So first of all, look guys, the normal price is already nifty thrifty. Normal price, Brian is what again? 119, which is awesome already. It's awesome already. But he said, look, okay. I mean, uh, he, he, he's going to over deliver. And so the nifty thrifty deal again is 10 off, 10% off. 10 two or off. more 10% off two or more turbines enter nifty at checkout so when you check out I, I think everybody's kind of familiar now with the the discount code throw in throw in uh, nifty in there and you're good to go hey well you know what we got some people that are saying thank you hey that's the same doctor that was asking you all the questions hey doc if you I was I know I was just kind of teasing you earlier uh, but seriously if you have more questions reach out. Uh, you know, I'm going to get all the contact info from uh, Brian and his team. I'm going to put it in the comment section. Also put the website there. Reach out. Get on the chat. Get on the chat and talk to them as well. But I will get an email for you guys to reach out. Um, but, man, that is a nifty deal. No, Now, there is one thing that I forgot to ask, and I think this is really important. I'm going to ask it right now because there's been a bunch of people in the group have been ticked off, not just at some other vendors, about the shipping right? Like, hey, I'm supposed to get some gloves. I'm supposed to get all this stuff. 
and you said it was going to come next week and it took like two weeks. What is the shipping time for your kits? Yeah, sure. Good question. It's free shipping three to five days, uh, depending on where you are, maybe a couple more in Canada. We got, we got a bunch of, uh, of folks up in Canada, our neighbors to the North that like Turby as well. Um, but anywhere domestically in the U S about three to five days, three to five days. I love it. And then also uh, another question would be is, is there a shortage of certain turbines right now? There is good question. There is not. No, okay. we are, we are fully supplied and uh, ready to serve. So look guys, uh, that's the nifty deal there. He said it himself. He's got all the turbines in stock. Um, oh, well, I don't know. Let's put this question on. Okay, okay. This guy's asking, how long is this discount code for? Hey, it is good for only today, man. You got to send it right now, this second. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But Brian, uh, look, Brian wants to be, Brian is like, I love what you're doing. I want to be part of Nifty 3G Dentist Group. I want to be a long-term resource in this group. But look, how long is the discount code for? If you're with Nifty, enter it and you'll get your discount. I love it. I love it. But seriously, though, if you got some hand pieces that are laying around right now, they're broken, and you've been meaning to get them fixed, this is the time to do it, man. Because, look, I mean, you're not seeing as many patients. Don't wait until you're super busy. I mean, then who's going to fix it, right? Here's the chance to do it. Maybe have a couple of your team members watch the video, and they can be like the experts of fixing, fixing hand pieces there. Okay? So I love it. Okay, so before we log off, uh, let's do it one more time. The normal price, Brian, the normal price for the Turby kit is how much? 119. 119. But the nifty dif thrifty deal is how much? You're getting 10% off of two or more turbines. So we're a bunch. 10% off. And you know what? This I feel the same way. This this doctor said awesome. Thanks so much. Yes, it is super awesome. Brian, I want to say this, man. Thank you so much for reaching out. Thank you so much for joining our community. I mean, what you're offering is amazing. Uh, shoot, I'm going to be getting some kits myself, man, because I always have these hand pieces that need to be fixed. I've been sitting in the drawer there. And guys, for those who are jumping on, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll put all the information in the comment section. But Brian, again, thank you so much for jumping on, my friend. Yeah, Dr. Villa, thanks for having me. It was great. All right, guys. We'll see you all later. Check for those uh, those links soon.